Welcome back to the Grant Park Liquor Mart Education Center. My name's Ace Burpee. You are watching Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great to have you. Susan Reese, Manito Manitoba Pork is here. And let me say this, sandwiches are beautiful. Sandwiches <laughs> are fine. I love sandwiches. I eat them all the time. Oh, wow. We are about to make <laughs> what is arguably the greatest sandwich in the history of the world. It is a uh, what Cuban style? It's a sandwich? Cuban style sandwich. It is going to be all kinds of great. Okay, let's get started. Okay. What are we going to use first? Well, this is actually two meals in one, so this is perfect. So we're going to make this uh, pork loin roast. It's uh, using a Caribbean marinade because that goes well with this. This Cuban fits style into sandwich, your right? make it once, eat it twice, or even thrice because you can use it for so many things right. afterwards. Right. Right. So we've got our nice lean pork loin roast again. You know, uh, pork is uh, there's so many cuts that are are considered lean or extra lean. And this is one of them. Right. Um, first thing we're going to do is we are going to actually pierce pierce some um, holes in it, I guess, if I've you will. I've never seen this. You can do this with... I know with, what this uh, thing is, though. Yeah, I picked this up, and uh, it's just so great. It's, That's a, uh, it's a Pilot Mound Pork Punch. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Let's pilot call it Mound that. Pilot Mound Pork Punch we'll do, there. Don't do Google both that. sides. If up. you don't have one of these handy gadgets, just use a fork or a, a sharp knife. Okay. But it's going to allow the uh, flavors to really penetrate into, okay. into the center of the pork, right? So again, we're going to use our um, freezer bag because it's great. just ideal for marinating. We're going to put that in there and then she's, wipe my hands a little Susan bit. Susan has made this marinade. I mean, you, I, it's way over here. I can smell it and I love it. So this is our oh, Caribbean marinade. Oh, that is marinade. crazy. Tons of different spices in this, but I'm sensing well some. It. Well, I think you got here, a I'll, canola oil base there. I'll do the uh, You got pouring. some orange and lime juice. Yeah. I'm going to just guess what's in this okay. and you tell me if it's all You've got a good nose. Minced garlic. Uh, some chopped red onion, I think. I'm sensing some black pepper and chili powder. <laughs> wow. Maybe a little Cuban. You're, you rock. Salt, obviously. <laughs> some ground ginger. There's no way it's posted on a thing down here. That I <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, I think a little nutmeg. I'm getting oh, a little nutmeg. Don't forget the dash of cloves. Dash of cinnamon, I'm going to say as well. <laughs> yeah. And that is your, that is a... Isn't that an awesome marinade? Spectacular smelling marinade. So again, marinating uh, four to 24 hours overnight is ideal because it really allows those flavors to penetrate. And obviously in the fridge, so. Right? Right, Massage Smoosh. that in. Now. Fridge it. We make this roast, say, on the weekend. And Sunday. Sunday. And now it's, uh, like, let's say Tuesday. Let's say Tuesday, okay. Yeah, say Tuesday. And, and we're gonna come back. Let's make the world's greatest sandwich. Right. Okay. We will do that. I'm going to fridge it. So this is, uh, in Cuba, they call this actually the sandwich. Everyone knows what it is. And um, it is very, very popular. You know, actually, there is, uh, they believe, if you read a lot about sandwiches, which you probably don't, I do, because I'm super into them, <laughs> invented in Tampa. Because they were all working, yeah, they moved the cigar industry to Tampa in like Key West. And this is like 100 years, more than 100 years ago. And they somehow they, they invented this Cuban sandwich. Mm -hmm. It was like on these lunch trucks and stuff, which right. is super popular now. Right. But this is like way back in the day. And then it went back to uh, Cuba. And so there's mm -hmm. Cubans invented it mm -hmm. while working in Tampa. Right. It's very it's the official popular. sandwich of Tampa. Yes, very popular in Florida. Good job on okay. that. Okay, so we're gonna make our sandwich using our leftover Caribbean uh, pork roast. Okay, so we're gonna. Um, Spread on a little bit of Dijon mustard. Mustard's in my top seven favorite things of all time. Like not just foods, things, period. And like hockey, uh, fishing, dogs, mustard. <laughs> we'll put a little <laughs> bit of mayonnaise on the other side. Yes, we will. All right. Okay, mustard good, mayo good. Yep. And uh, let's see, do best to do this over here. Now we're gonna put on our uh, leftover pork loin roast. Start with really that. really layer that thing? Yeah, we are gonna do layer it like this. that. Pork roast, good. Okay. No, it doesn't have to be the Caribbean one, but it just yeah, matches nicely, right? Yeah, but there's a lot of right? flavor in this. It just packs a punch. It's Got to remember to put on the, the Black Forest ham. That's oh. also a key ingredient of the, the Cuban sandwich. Very good. Great. All right. Got to put, put on some Swiss cheese. Kind of a sandwich We're using a lot of like two different pork products on one sandwich yep. I endorse. And a shout out to our, what is it, 13,000 people employed in the uh, pork industry, pork industry yes. in this province? Yes, mostly in the processing sector too, so. Pickles, good. Pickles, gotta have pickles. You know, this is an oddly, like very Manitoban sandwich. <laughs> 
for something that comes out of cute. Like, think about this. Think about these ingredients. I know, I know. That's us. Now we're going to put it on our panini press. So lift that up. It's, it's nice a and pilot hot. Pilot Mound panini press. <laughs> you want to make sure it's nicely oiled, too. And that's going to give you some nice grill marks. Now what I like to this... try and do is put it, because sometimes when you yeah. put it down, it goes on an you, angle. You don't want all this stuff to I come out. I want to try and get it. Well, um, maybe not super, not <laughs> maybe hot. With it's, oven no, it's fine. <laughs> super safe, what happened Okay, there? yeah, that's good. Just, right? uh, and then press it down. Yeah. And you like to, uh, you want to press it about 15% of your total <laughs> power. Otherwise you end up with a pancake, right? That's correct. <laughs> Actually, yeah, if you go down to Cuba, a Cuban sandwich, it starts yeah. like this, then it ends up like this. Yeah. This is going to be, wait till you see the finished product. It's going to look spectacular and taste even better. Right. And then Ben Rush is out finding uh, something to pair with all these delicious meals. So we'll hear from him right after these.